of all things. By you all things exist. We thank you, Jesus, for coming to us. We know that you're the Almighty of Abraham. Before Abraham was, you said, I am. And I accept it and I believe it. I have no quarrel, no argument with your words, Jesus. In the life of my spirit. Your words are spirit, your words are life. You have the words of eternal life. And I want to eat your word and drink your word, do your word, put your word in the Bible. Life. Put your life in me. Take away the life of the flesh. Lord, take away all desires of the flesh and all the works of the flesh. Give us the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, and peace. Generous, mercy. Temperance. Self-control. Faith. Give us life. Give it more love. Live in faith. Give us the same spirit of faith that you had, Jesus. But I have a desire to be wells of living waters. I have a desire to be rivers. Not river, but rivers of living waters poured out of into the hearts and lives of mankind. Father, I come to you on behalf of all peoples. Open up your spirits. Take the blinds from all your eyes. Move the dullness from your ears that you may hear what the Spirit will speak to the church. For great and perilous times, a great holocaust and a catastrophic destruction is at the door. When men's hearts shall fail them for fear, and I will shake the earth terribly, and the earth shall reel, rock and stagger like a drunk, like one that is drunk from wine, strong beverages. Hear you my voice. And hearken to my word for the day of great and woe and sorrow is just before. And I'm not saying the scriptures that there will be wars and perplexities and distress of nations, insurrections and famines, and troubles. That I'm not saying that. Except the Lord has shortened the days, no flesh shall be saved. And when I not warn, woe be unto them that are with the child of those that have little children. Even so now, look at those other parts of the world in Russia and other nations that they leave their children on the streets of his homes because they cannot feed them or sustain them or take care of them because there's a woe upon the earth. But there's a woe upon America yes, yes. that even in America millions should not be able to feed their little children and not be able to care for their own. Even here in America, mothers will ban their children because of the great woe that has spoken to a weak and innocent nation. A great woe is coming upon America. A woe like America has never had. Woe be unto the rich and 
into those that have invested in Wall Street. Well, I don't know those and them that have put their money in bags with holes, not have invested into the kingdom of God and laid up their treasures in heaven. But behold, there's coming a storm from out of the east. They will rock all of the Europe and the Eastern and Middle East nations. There's coming a storm from the Isle of China. And the red dragon rise up and put the world in war. Great war! Even many nations you know, are in great perplexity and distress. For the Lord had prepared, prepared America and the world for a great slaughter. The evil that is in the earth of destroyed nations in time past, in the day of the dispensation of the gospel. It's now coming in and being closed. Only a short time do you have left. Work now, you servants of God, both man servants and woman servants. Put your hands to the plow. And don't look back. Take up the cross and deny yourself and go. And bear testimony of me. And of this life. In Christ Jesus, in the mortal of the flesh. For surely if you will turn to me with all your hearts, seek me with all your hearts, you will find me. And I will be God to you, and you shall be my sons, and I will be Father. And I will supply and sustain you, and make a way and protect you, and keep you in days of trouble. Not a hair of your head will perish. But you must turn to me and put your heart. You must love me with your heart. You must praise me with your heart. For well, the church world is in a live service. Put your heart where your mouth is. Let your hearts be open. And open up the gates of your heart and the kingdom of glory shall come in. And your eyes shall see the beauty of holiness. Your spiritual understanding shall be enlightened, and you shall know the knowledge of my will and the mystery and understanding of Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hear you the Lord's voice. For he hath called you from out of darkness, from out of the world, into his marvelous light. And he's not called you to uncleanness, but unto holiness. Therefore, cleanse your heart. Cleanse first that which is within. And purify your double minds. Rise and call upon the name of your God. The Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be delivered and saved. And I will purge you and clean you, for you should be clean like a vine that has been purged. I will take my words and cleanse you. And I will put my words within you, and you shall live in me, and my words shall live in you. You shall pray. And I will answer you. You shall ask the Father anything in my name, and he will give it to you. Because I and my Father are one. Turn to me now, my people. Turn to me with all your hearts. Rent your hearts and not your garments. Come and seek me. The first, the second, and the third, and the fourth watch of the night. Lie all night in the floor and into your closets and shut your door. Seek me now 
You shall find it me, knock and it will be open. Ask and I will give you. For everyone that asks receives, and he that seeks finds, he that knocks it's open unto him. <laughs> Come to me that you might have a life, that you might have it more abundantly. But you will not come to me that you might have life. But you love darkness rather than light because your deeds are evil. Turn from your wicked ways. Name the name of the Lord Jesus and depart from iniquity. Call upon my name and you shall be saved. For darkness and great trouble shall come out of the north. For that shall rise up in the northern part of a strong arm in a great defense. He shall come and he shall make war. There shall be war in Russia, India. There shall be war in the Middle East. There shall rise one of the nations of the Middle East. Lands on nuclear bomb. Great war and blood shall be in Israel and Tel Aviv, and Jerusalem shall be trod down. Hear you the Lord's voice, and the age of the Gentiles shall come in, and the Lord will give great sights and signs in the sun and the moon, and the heavens above. Stars, asteroids, comets, planets shall fall from the heavens. Satellites shall be destroyed in the heavens, and the heavens shall rain hailstorms as big as talents. The weight of a hundred pounds, great winds, raging waves, and roaring winds, and God, God gigantic waves of the sea. Huge tidal waves and earthquakes shall shake nations. And all prophecies, the complete plan of God shall be fulfilled. For the trumps are soon to be blown, and the horsemen shall ride, and the seal shall be loosed. Great persecution shall come. Many shall die. Many shall, their heads shall be cut off because of my name, Satan. Satan shall put some of you in jail, in prisons. Be faithful till you die. Turn not back your eyes from me. Do not turn your backs upon me, but turn your face to me. Hear you the Lord, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and the time of trouble such as had not been for ever before or ever after. And Jesus is coming soon, said the Almighty. The door, as it was in the days of Noah, the door was shut by God. As the laws fulfilled in the Laws shut up. Faith was open there. And the dispensation of the gospel began. As Jesus fulfilled. The dispensation of the law and the prophets. And of Abraham. But now the dispensation of the gospel now has been fulfilled. And the time of the end is now. The year of 2000 is the year of disaster. As you go into the next millennium, the 21st century shall be a time of trouble, a time of disaster, a time the world shall rock and reel and be shook terribly. Hear you the Lord's voice, the hour of the heavens shall not rock the earth. The sun and the moon shall be confounded, and the stars will fall like untimely feet, which is hidden by 
of my youth. Will you not hear my voice? Will you servants not obey my word? Will you not put your hands to the plow and not look back? For behold, I will send tens of thousands of destructions. I will send thousands of whirlwinds. Even in one day, hundreds of whirlwinds. States and hailstorms, yet great drought. Rivers shall be dry, and wells shall issue no water. Great perplexity in the streets and military control. And a martial law in a state of emergency should be declared across the nation of the United States and Canada. Oh, my people, where are you? Where are thou? Where are you? Why won't you answer me when I call you? Why won't you hear me when I speak? How is it that you think that you can survive and make it on your own strength, that you have your own ability. You are blind and you cannot see. You're waking the balances. Even now, judgment is switching up all again on the White House, on the nation. Judgment is switching up all on Wall Street. Oh, my people, come to me and have a life. Come to me and have I'm seeing three major earthquakes which are rocked and hit. Oh, thank you. I'm beholding. Mm -hmm. Not long ago now, Jackson and the Mississippi Valley and St. Louis and Memphis is going to shake. Even down in the northern Arkansas, so even be felt as far as away as Kansas and Oklahoma and New Nebraska and Missouri and Illinois and Kentucky, and Tennessee. For I will shake a mighty shake. Hear you the Lord, for he is the Almighty. But he speaks to his servants, come and love me with all your heart. Come and manifest my love. Come here and have my life within you. Go and give out life. For the earth is in darkness and gross darkness. Spring up with great light, for I will rise and shine upon you. My light shall be seen within you. And my light shall spring up, and out of your belly shall flow rivers of life. You shall be wells of living water, springing up into eternal life to those that will come and draw. Hear you, you ministers, let my people come and draw and pull the waters of life, for that is a curse. There is a famine in the land for the word of God and for the water of life. There is a thirst. There is a great drought for the water of life. And I will show the earth I am in control. I have not lost control of earth planet. I'm in total authority. All things is as I will. I put it in the kings of the earth to fulfill my will. And the Antichrist is at the door. There should be another wreck, another train. There should be a drastic train wreck in India. Of three trains of mass death. A train wreck in Bolivia, in Mexico. A train wreck in China. A great holocaust falls upon Russia. Death and sorrow and a coup in blood. Hear ye the Lord's voice. For the United Nations of Europe is rising to power in America. So the second, hear ye the Lord's voice. For the King has spoken. Almighty God. 
Almighty God, take these prayer requests, Lord, and meet these needs. Meet these needs. Meet these needs. God, meet these needs. Father, meet these needs. Almighty God, meet these needs. Sanctify and answer these requests. In Jesus of Madness's name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Great God. Great God. Great Master. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Surely Jesus is coming soon. Surely the end and the thief of the night is at the door. Like the great floods of Noah, they knew not till the floods came. Even when it started raining, they did not know. Till the floods came. Took the floods, not the rains, to wake them up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Lord has shown me that seven people can help us with a hundred dollars. There's two people who has a thousand dollars. God bless you if you will come and help us get his message. We spend our whole entire life. Since I was 19 years old, I have spent my whole entire adult life traveling all over the world carrying God's message. I haven't slept. Been about my father's business. You better be about yours because God showed me people who don't get about the Father's business, it's going to be lost. Yeah. You're going to say I was hungry and you didn't feed me. I was thirsty and you didn't give me no water of life. I was hungry and you didn't give me no bread of life. I was naked and you did not clothe me with the whole arm of God. I was in captivity, I was in prison, I was sick and you did not bring me healing. And you're going to say, why? How, how did this be? The Lord's going to say, you did not do it to those that needed help. Those is out there in thirst. If you will give, God has shown me there are going to be a people that's going to be protected. Oh, they're going to be people tired. They're going to be people give their lives and have to give their testimony and lose their head. But they're going to be people that God is going to supernaturally protect. It's going to be a living testimony of the miraculous power of God. I don't, I, I don't mind giving my life to the Lord. Sister Carol said, just tell them to shoot us in the heart and get it over fast. Just, just don't take no time. If you're going to do it, just do it. You know. But I don't want to be the one to die fast. I don't want to. I want to be a testimony. God has shown me if I can be living in the Antichrist, I can preserve and keep a lot of people from taking the mark of the beast. Now, a lot of preachers can't. You know why? Most preachers are told the church they ain't going to be here, and, and, and they're going to have a hard time explaining why there wasn't a rapture. Most of them are going to go high. Most of them are going to flee. Most of them ain't going to be famous because of the doctrines they've taught. Right. Ain't that right? right. The Lord showed me that there's two people. If you give a thousand dollars, God's going to put thousands in your hand. We need thousands. You need thousands if you're doing something with God. 
You can't do nothing. That's right. Yeah. Sister Lord was telling me this morning that, that the television a program on Sunday morning cost like seventeen hundred dollars a week. You know, you can't you can't operate, you can't well, just go off. That's what everybody says. Just quit. No, you can't quit. Can you? Because they've got all these lies coming out on TV. They need a truth. Ain't that right? I mean, everybody don't want these lies. That's right. There's people out there who want the truth. And if you'll invest, it'll be an investment. That God will remember you. In the, <coughs> you know, like we want to give today and get back more to you tomorrow. But I want the Lord to remember me in time of trouble. Yes. Yes. I want the Lord to remember me in time of trouble. Yes. Quick, let's get up and bring your dollars up here. And put them in this here. Give them to Brother West. We're not going to, dollars ain't going to be wasted. We're going to make dollars this year, move our equipment. God bless you. Thank you, man. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come in, Jesus. Write a check. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 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 Thank Miracle cross. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And you know, thank you, Master. Bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, little babies. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to stop when I feel you start heading this way. <laughs> you want to stop when I feel you start heading this way. Then go up down the way. Just get you to start heading this way. Down this way. When I say it, you're going to start heading down. You know, the one had to do it with you. Come. Somebody else has got a thousand dollars coming over there. God bless you. Let us got $5. How many would like to have a, a piece of ground and a nice weather place? Not a mansion, but just a, a little, a good, you know, a little little house, not something that you got to do like we did with these kids, you know, and start ranking out to get up and turn the beds up and put the buckets on them. I'm not asking God to give you an easy house. You know, in a house that when the winds blow, that you got to put. Uh, Quick scraps and chink them in the cracks. If any of you ever do that when you're growing up, they have pasteboard over the walls. I'm not asking the Lord to give you that kind of house. I just got to give you a good, you know, livable house. But you don't need to, none of us need to be like kings. Do we? You know, there's too many lost people. And I'm praying that God will give you a nice house. And a place and land and deeper. That's one of the uh, a well. How I many remember that I promised out a well of water would be like an oil well? You know what? Is it fixing to be that? A well of water is fixing to be like an oil well. Look how high water is now. It's high in all. It's high in gas. 
I'll tell you what you do. Okay. I'll tell you what you do. You go out here and buy a gallon of gas and see how much it is on the pump and then go buy a gallon of water. See which one happens. How many remember years ago when I prophesied that the water uh, up in America would be drinkable? That bottled water, that drinking water would be put behind gas. And you fix have to pay five dollars for a gallon of water. I mean, you know, you don't even realize all the things that God's brought on the nation since I've been going throughout the world of And ain't only here in America. Everything's happening in Egypt now. I told right there last year when the old clock ticked midnight, 99, the Indians were going to go into great strains. The president had had an economic disaster. They had one of the greatest persecutions ever. They killed 200 Christians in a week. Burnt 60 churches in one weekend in one area. They're taking out the Christians and taking out the poor And the police is one of them in battle. One of them in battle. Thank you, Lord. Stretch your hand this way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God, I love you. God, I appreciate you, Lord. I'm asking you, God, to bless this offering. Lord, I do ask you, God, for people to put these five dollars, whether it's today or yesterday. Lord, over in Texas, over in Georgia, right up in Jackson. Get with that place in the country with a good fresh water well that didn't go dry in droughts. Won't be but contaminated by all of us, all that. God, give them a place to grow food. You know, you know, the Lord told me to have people to prove God for children. Everybody needs a good size of garden tiller. Yes. You know, you better, you better hear me. Yes. Clean it. Right. It's already the, the, the creed of Acre, executive order. The beginning of the 1st of June, he's going to put in 120 cities, big cities, 450,000 Troops to keep people from blowing up food. And if there's a crisis, he will let people leave the seas. They don't got it planned. They're going to stop all going out of town. This ain't over here say this is so. Yes. And people are going to wonder God, they listen to this little fellow. Yeah. Already people are thinking about it. You wonder why there's a change? Last year, this year, in the ministry, and people that ain't seen in years come back, they, they hear it on TV. Amen. All people keep, that's what Brother Terrifying said. That's what Brother Terrifying said. That's what Brother Terrifying said. I guess you want your TV? That's what Brother Terrifying said. Now they're telling to put up gold, they're telling to put up silver, to hide some money away. Did I tell you all to put your money in the bank? Did I tell you all to put your money in the bank? You know I did. Huh? Pay your taxes if you want, but don't put your money in the bank. They ain't they, they, they really know how much authority over you. Why don't you pay your taxes? Why don't you do what's right, what they say ain't right, no man. As long as you pay your just taxes. God said, no man, these tax collectors in here. Or they've overburdened the people like they did in the days of Jesus. They overburdened the people. God wants to give you a house in the country. Some of you, oh, I would to God that God just buy a miraculous. Just, somebody just call you up and give you one. Now that's happening. That is absolutely happening. That's happening. Jesus blessed us. God bless these five dollars. Bless these five dollars, Lord. Give people tools. Garden materials. Other tools they need to work in the gardens and deep wells. God take the laziness out of them. God give them lazy, they don't want to work in the gardens. But Lord, soon store bought food just hold up, so we took from the people. 
and only the, people, the food people grow, are they going to be able to keep? It's going to be against the law to pour up food, anything, water, or we're doing it. God, I pray that you'll move for your people now, quickly. Do something these next three or four months, Lord. Take these offerings and rebuke them on our Father and bless them with heavens open and give them the finances and give them the money they need to get out. And Lord, you can speak to people. God, you can turn it over. You said the wicked is laid up for the just in your hand. God, you said it, Lord. You said that, that, that the, the fathers of you would, would inherit the riches of the sinners, the Gentiles as the sinners. That's, you said it, Jesus. Christ, I commanded me so in Jesus. And that is the name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I know this works. I'm going to, i got to go back here to the restroom a minute. I'm going to brother, uh, J Jerry Sandoval to come up and say a word from the Lord. You got to <laughs> Then we're going to get uh, ready to go into the Word. I want you to turn with us first and do be here. Now in the morning, it's going to be a time of, of uh, communion, but we want to teach on eating the flesh. And there's lots. Last week, it was nearly two hours that I spoke from the sixth chapter of John. I spoke for 58 minutes in South India. To about 100,000 people on a Sunday night. It was a village. It had been the city, it had been a half a million. But you got to go in the villages too. And I spoke for 58 minutes about all this closing of what's about to happen to shock the earth. And I got through that message. Thousands multiplied. In fact, up the whole entire field of people came forward to seek the Lord. They're not like we are here. This handful that come up when you ask for folks to come. They come by the masses. And Time we got to the next city, they called up there the coordinator of the meeting, which was Brother Sam. He said, called Brother Bourdain. He said, find out if it's all right, Brother Terry. He said, we want to take that message. We want to make a book and get it out all, over all India in different languages. He's raised in church, raised in the sinners of God. He's about 60. Five years old, maybe seventy, but he, was, he said that he, in all of his lifetime, had never heard such a word. You know what? He believed it. We don't know how short the time is. I saw the door in the dispensation of the gospel close, and all prophecies hit us at one time. I mean, God fulfilled the Bible. We were seeing within a, like three or four or five, maybe seven years. It's like the Lord told me, he said, seven years of Passover. And said the last half of that seven years is going to be so much happened that no flesh should be saved. Can you imagine? This morning the Lord spoke to me. He said, you're seeing my word on television. That's what you mean. He said, yesterday when you saw Tom Brokaw in Russia, people leaving their little babies and offering it because they couldn't feed them, said that's woe be unto them to have two. Oh. Mother's crying. Daddy's crying because uh, they can't feed their kids. Can't pull the kids. 
I'm not talking about tramps like we have in America want to kill them before they're born. I'm talking about people that already have a little sweet, one of the beautiful little girls. I just cried. I said, God, I wish Sister Ellen had that little girl. She's about to have it. My mother was crying and said she could not feed her no more. Not even making 50 cents a day. Showed the orphans' homes are packed out. The kids sleeping on the floor because of her. Said mother, said nothing, said thousands, not just one or two, but thousands. You know that was a prophecy? You remember when, when America gave uh, Russia $40 billion and they give them all these other billions and Clinton give a bunch? And yeah. I got up and said it ain't going to work. Mm -hmm. Russia's going to have a disaster. Yes, you know why? You know why Russia's going through this? It's painting. Right. For 75 years, they suppressed God's people. <clears throat> How he fed them. The road from Moscow, an interstate from Moscow to Siberia, just like Interstate uh, 30, 40, going through here, Interstate 55, over 500 miles of that stretch. They call it the Highway of Bone. You know why they call it the highway of bones? Christians. Built a highway with a hand. When, when they died, they didn't bury them. They seen them in the, in the on buried them under the sea. Millions. Millions of Christians, they worked them to death that time. Didn't have any freedom. Worked them in skin and bones. He was nothing but bones, and now Russia is bones. It's going to be bones. America's got so much to pay for. Yes. And the sad part about America, America's got the biggest pay they've all. What do you mean? Well, these nations that heard, heard about Jesus, they didn't know much. Right. We know he died. We are a nation that God has declared the whole counsel of God to. We are a nation that God raised up an army of ministers with great power in the middle of the century. Real, not these this bunch on TV and all this bunch running around here today playing organ music and, and, and trying to uh, use psychology and calling people out and, and telling them things. And 90% of it ain't so. Amen. Amen. This man right there in Dallas, Brother Barron's fooling around with, that right down there in one of our churches, he overheard, him, and the pastor heard, was standing right there, and you saw him right there listening, writing it down, and I overheard some ladies telling about the, to each other's problem, went right out there and ministered to ladies and told them everything. That ain't a gift of God. All right. I'm going to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, you ain't got to do that kind of stuff. I mean, you've got, you've got God operating in you. He'll operate in you without you having it. Go find out with somebody. I always tell people, don't, don't tell me that. I tell the people to help us. If anybody tells you something, don't tell me that. Because if, if, if somebody comes and tells me something, and then if God reveals something to me, I'm not going to tell them. Because I, somebody else, because I'm not going to, to be accused. That's right. You know, some people, they go tell everybody. The pastor knows about everybody in the church anyhow. I mean, a, a gift of God, give that Jesus had, he didn't have to nobody tell him that Nathaniel was under the fig tree the day before. Did he? Nobody had to tell Jesus, woman, you've had five husbands. <laughs> First Corinthians 2, the last verse said, Who has the mind of God that God might instruct him? All right, yes. 
See, we want to run around here with psychology, playing a bunch of, uh, 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 you know, soothing music. That's what they do. Play soothing music. Don't need me. I used to tell Brother Lord Barber, you know, he used to do that, catch me minister, and I'd say, I don't need that music. <laughs> you don't need that. It's the truth. People are, are trying to uh, uh, put music on me. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, I'm hitting the nail on the head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't grab me time to crush that on the head. That nail won't hold it. I believe we need truth, don't you? Amen. I believe if, you, if you're hungry for God, don't get out of here just want something to mess around. But you know what God showed me? God showed me these ministers that pulled away from this ministry. The Holy Ghost, God spoke out of me last Saturday night. said soon they're going to be in the altars. They're going to be coming to this ministry, begging mercy. For this charismatic bunch is a liar. <clears throat> Some of these preachers don't have nothing. Well, I ain't saying that. We won't let that go. Praise the Lord. Let's preach life. Let's not preach it dead. Let's get on the line. Appreciate this bottle, I tell you. You think drinking water all the time and you're fasting. Do you, there's something that don't have to have that meaning. <laughs> it sort of cleans you out and I guess it does something, or at least the flavor of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people can't get them the bouillon. You know, drop one in there, just give you some flavor. Yeah. We don't, if it's a salt, we can't, we don't, my son won't take salt so water. But it's all been over. That's what that's why that's why some people can't take this gospel. You gotta get used to it. You can't take the salt because we got used to eating without it. And you know? All right. You get used to salt. First thing you taste is this thing got no salt in it. One time a little boy, the teacher told the students that I want everybody to come in the morning everybody write me a letter and tell them what salt is. Explain salt that morning. The teacher got to the well did anybody uh, want to come forward and read your paper? What it's plain and salt? Nobody come up. Uh, the teacher got up. The little boy raised his hand, and she let him stand up. He said, "Teacher, said I, I don't know what salt is, but said I know what it ain't." <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, <laughs> no one in ain't. You know when it ain't the anointing. And I know this stuff that you're seeing, these guys on the TV, it ain't the anointing. I was hunting the news town yesterday in that time, and Dwight Thompson on there. And ain't one no more anointing, that guy is just another <laughs> money haul. Ain't nothing to him. Well, I don't care what you said, think you see. The Bible said they'll show signs that you think they're signs. The seed of our healing. Hens has got people saying good morning to the Holy Ghost. Hens got people stand up believing that the Holy Ghost is a body and come down and talk to them. Old Murdoch. Murdoch's the biggest liar ever on television. <laughs> if I tell people, I said, hey, every night when you better go to bed, the Holy Ghost text come down, got a little off the bed, he come down, cross his leg, and sits there and talks to me. So that's the biggest lie, Amen. trying to deceive people that the Holy Ghost is a person. He's not a person to be did, he won't be saying that you're all good, or my all <laughs> Jesus Christ's body is in heaven. He may appear to us in a vision. But his body will not appear to us, but it appears in the sky. Amen. He may show you a vision like him. Mm -hmm. You know. He can appear to you like he did to Abraham in the form of me. He can appear to you in the form of Gabriel. Gabriel is God's messenger angel. Michael is God's deliverance angel. 
Raviel is God's angel that, that looks after the stars and just got, gets me to do an earthquake. He said, go to it, Raviel. <laughs> go, go turn the earth upside down. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. hallelujah. Man, I wish, to, wish God right now speak to Raviel. How many of you like to speak to Gabriel? Amen. Come bring your message. Amen. You know, it was Gabriel that came to William Brown. said, I'm Gabriel sent from God. It was Gabriel that came to Mary. I'm Gabriel sent from God. It was Gabriel that appeared to Joseph in a dream. It was Gabriel that appeared to Daniel. Oh, yes. said, I'm Gabriel. Angel said, I'm Gabriel sent from God. Yes. William Brown, go and spearhead a divine heat and revive. Yeah. So I'm giving you a gift to diagnose. <coughs> and discern diseases and demons. But said in the last days there'll be many that will imitate it and fake it and claim it. Like old pop off and all of it. <coughs> Grant and all of it. But you know God's got their day. Tip them. False prophets. We're living in a time you've got to be careful. If man ain't this word, you better get away from it. Turn here to this uh, book of Galatians. And I'm not going to stay here for just a minute. I want to read a couple of scriptures. The book of Galatians, this is chapter 2. And I'm going to begin reading at verse 19. Galatians chapter 2, verse 19. For, I'm, for I, through the law, am dead to the law, that I might live to God. I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yea, not I, but Christ lives in me. The life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Great Master, thank you for this. Hide your word in me, Lord. Talk to me. Unveil your spirit to me. Unveil and reveal yourself to me in the spirit. Reveal your spiritual knowledge, your spiritual understanding. Give us the understanding of the spiritual understanding of the word. I don't want to understand it like these people, like the man we heard on the radio coming from Jackson down here. Lord, I want to know the mysteries of revelations. I want to know the mysteries of, of, of these prophets, but I don't want to know it through man's psychology. I want to know it through the wisdom, revelation that you gave it to them, Lord. I want to understand your word with the revelation you gave it to the men that wrote your word. Help us to bear the cross and deny ourselves. Strengthen us for this time. Amen. Christ lives in me. That's what I'm going to talk about. Christ lives in me. We need the living Christ living in us. Let me go back over this 19th verse. For I am through the law and dead to the law. I think sometimes people are thinking about, Paul's talking about the law that we know is the law. But what Paul is really speaking about, you know, he compared the law of sin and the law of death. He said, until the law sin from the sin. But when the law came, then sin become a lie. People begin to recognize. That's all of the reason that God gave the law to Moses is to folks to recognize sin. And Paul is saying teaching us in the Romans and the Galatians that we are dead to 
to see that I might live. Now look at uh, Romans. Let me just go back here to Romans for a moment. Go to Romans for a moment. Six. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How should we that are dead to sin live any longer than him? Were you not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? That we are buried in him by baptism in the death that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the knowledge, by, by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we should also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that when we are anchored, we should not serve sin. For sin is dead, for he that is dead is free from sin. And if we be dead to Christ, we believe we should also live with him. Knowing that Christ being risen from the dead, died no more, death had no more dominion over him. Having that he died, he died to sin once, but in that he lives, he lives to God. So likewise, you also yourselves, to be dead, indeed to sin, but alive to God through our Lord Jesus Christ. That not sin, nor war, death reign in your mortal bodies, that you should obey it in the lust of power. Neither you yourselves as instruments, your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but give yourselves to God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, but you're not under the law. But I'm the grace. I want to read that to show you what my point that Paul said. He was dead to the law. See, showing you that what Paul was talking about, he wasn't talking about the law of Moses. He's talking about the law of sin that Adam brought into us. David said we was conceived in sin and born in iniquity. Sin. That's something you and I couldn't help. We come into this world sinners. You mean little babies are sinners? Yes, they're sinners. That are accountable. That they're born in sinners. Job said a man is born of a woman in a few days, he's full of trouble. Sin is trouble. So, once a, a child, I don't care how sweet it is, you notice as he grows up, 10, 12, 13, teenage, he automatically begins to produce his sinful nature. Yes. No matter how much you train him in church, All right. train him in church, they automatically begin to produce, they've got to be born again. They've got to, to die to that nature. Romans 8 said you mortify the deeds of the body. All right. Did it? Yes, it did. Put to death. As read Paul said, I'm crucified. He's talking about I'm dead yes. to the law. I'm dead. I'm crucified with him. He said, I live, but nevertheless not I, but Christ. Once Christ, Christ lives in me, he said. That's what I want to talk about. Christ lives in me. Yes. And if you read it and walk in your testimony, is Christ lives in me. So God wants to manifest his life, the life of Jesus Christ, in your mortal body as in your mortal body from the gospel I 
I might read this later. 14 John. And verse 4. Where I go you know and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we know not where you go or going. How do we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way. I am the truth and the life. See, Jesus said, I am the truth. Amen. I am the way. That's what's the matter of the church today. They're not preaching Jesus as the way. They are preaching they are the way. They change the word of God into a lie. Preaching their own theories. All right. Preaching their own thing. Jesus said, I am the way. Not ways, but way. I am the way, the truth. The truth, the gospel said, is in Christ. Pilate said, what is truth? When he was trying Jesus, Jesus said, I am truth. He died for the truth. He gave his life for the truth. Oh, yeah. That you and I might have his life in us. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man. That's woman two. Can come to the Father except by or through me. No man. And come to the Father, but by me or through me. If you had known me, you should have known my Father also. And from your action, you shall know him and have seen him. You know what he's saying now, your action. You know, it's like he said down in the 16th chapter. Here before, you've asked nothing. That's why I'm here on earth. You've asked nothing by me. But your anchor, after I'm crucified and resurrected, ascended back to the right hand of God. As the mediator between God and man, you shall ask in my name, and the Father will give it to you. You shall ask the Father anything in my name, and he will give it to you. So, he's saying, here I am, after I'm crucified and resurrected, you will know then that I've seen you. If you know me, you know the Father. Also, from here after, you shall know him. He said, you will know the Father after I'm crucified and resurrected. Still many people do not know the Father. All right. They're still preaching God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Three persons. They have not yet seen the Father. But Jesus said, you've seen him, but you don't know him. Well, that's a hard saying to this Trinity Church world. <laughs> Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father. And said, it's not us, our son. It is enough for us. Jesus said to him, have I been so long time with you? Yet you have not known me, Philip. He that had seen me has seen the Father. And now say you, Say then, show us the Father. Believe you not that I am in the Father? The Father in me, the words that I speak to you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwells in me, he does the word, he speaks the word. The Father that lives in me, he does it. You know, they couldn't see the Father. Some of you have not yet seen Christ in me. That's when you can't accept what I say. If you could ever see Christ in me instead of sin, they would tell You could ever see Christ in the pastor instead of seeing the pastor. You could ever see Christ in your brother or sister if you quit this year talking about him. Jesus told Paul, Paul said, who are you that I've been talking about you, persecuting you? Jesus 
Say you done it to my, my little ones. Yes. yes. When you persecuted my children. Yes. When you stoned Stephen, she was stoning me. Oh yes. Yes. When you done it under the least, you done it to me. Yes. Didn't you? Yes. See? You got to see Jesus. Amen. We got to quit looking for good works out of one another. Yes. We got to quit trying to examine people and say, let's see if they live up according. You know, people want me to live according to what they say. Come on now. They want you to live according to what they say. Yes. It's the truth. Everybody's got to stand. You don't live up to what I say, you ain't nothing. <laughs> Right now. Don't you, now, that don't turn you loose, as you please. Yes. All right. But we've got to see Jesus among them. Amen. Jesus said you can tell a tree by the fruit, by the fruit it bears. Yes. A good tree cannot bring forth bad fruit. Neither can a bad tree bring forth good fruit. You should know them by their fruit. And when you see this bunch on TV, you can see the fruit that is not the doctrine of Christ. All right. yes. Yes. The apostle said if you come preaching any other doctrine than the doctrine of Christ, let it be accursed or let it be condemned. It's antichrist. Yes. I didn't get nothing on that one. Paul said if anybody preach any other gospel than what I preach and what we preach, talk about we the apostles. Let it be a curse. Let it be a curse. Then it. So there is no other. There's not but one. There's not but one salvation. Yes. There's not but one way to God. That's through the Lord Jesus Christ. God was in Christ. Paul taught us in the Timothy. Without controversy. Great is the mystery of Godliness. God was in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5, God was in Christ, reconciling the world Amen. to himself. Hallelujah. Oh, I want to be reconciled to God. I don't care what y'all do. I need Jesus. I want the life, the life that was in Jesus Christ. Paul said I'm true. Now, the life of Christ ain't going to live in an uncrucified person. Amen. You may run around here. We can hit up there. So high up like these racehorses. We can hit high. Find a way in the Kentucky Derby. When he's third breads. You may be a third bread with your haughty spirit. With your proud look. But you better come down. Better do like the sinner. You better get your head between your legs. Right. Better quit saying, Lord, I'm glad I ain't as this old sinner. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, if you want to be justified, you're going to come through the door. Yeah. Jesus was not a high man. He was a low man. Yeah. Jesus got out as low as mankind could get yeah. so we could get saved. If he'd come in that king spirit, we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be saved. Would we? He come. First, he was, <coughs> when the wise men found him, they found him in a manger, yes. right. not in the inn. Yes. Right. The star did not lead him to the king's house. Right. All right. right. Yes. Didn't lead him to the best church and synagogue in town. Yes. The star didn't lead him to some inn, yes. some nice hotel. Yes. The Bible said the, that star came and stood over the stable. Yes. The Lord, when he was in Australia, God spoke to me and he said, go, said, go and tell my people they need to get back to the stand. Oh, yeah. So this revival ain't going to come through this uh, television movie star way. Yes. Revival ain't never broke out that way. You know where the revival is always broke out at? At the barn. In the stable. Where did it break out in the zoo the street? Savior is born. Yes. Right. This day a Savior is born. So yes. you should find the babe the angels spoke out. 
this day you shall find the, the, a revival born. Yes. A Savior, a Deliverer is born. The Holy Ghost is born. Hallelujah, the Holy Ghost is come. The power of the Spirit is poured out. You shall find him in a manger. You shall find him in a cow stable. Yes. You shall find him in, in a bed of straw. Yes. Wrapped in a, a straw. Yes. Hallelujah. Great light has sprung up. Light has sprung up. And light and light has sprung up to them in darkness. And them in the shadow. Control spirit. Oh, you're not going to come to Jesus with that spirit and think you're better than somebody else. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, appreciate you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I tell you, you better get this color of skin on and go free. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. I mean, that color yes. of their skin makes a difference. Like the other day, some preacher was advising a couple not to get married, but love one another. And finally he said, he didn't have no reason. This is his own tradition. He said, well, from the color of the skin, you shouldn't do it. Well, see, that's all he was doing, looking at skin. All right. Yeah. <laughs> is that right? You hear me? Yes. 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 Come on, Lord, thank you, Jesus. That's the way it is today. Mm -hmm. That's right. People think one people is better than another people. Mm -hmm. But God don't see. Mm -hmm. He colorblind. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He made of all nations all right. drink of one blood. Yes. <laughs> all nations. The blood ain't got nothing to do with the skin. <laughs> Didn't we be a big mix up bunch of clothes? <laughs> Man, when they put that blood in the blood bank, they don't put black blood, white blood, in the blood, <laughs> yellow blood, blue blood. All right, blood. All right. yes. <coughs> it's blood. They put the type in it. You need a pile of blood. If, if your type is that, you don't know who blood you're getting. But it don't matter because the blood ain't got nothing to do with it. All right. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus is. Sometimes uh, different nations and different people. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the, the people of India, a lot of great women over there. But the culture is different. Yeah. Yeah. And it might not, they're not like American women. You know? American men, I don't know whether his culture would fit in, no matter whether he's black or who he is, you know. Uh -huh. You know, because of the culture. Mm -hmm. You know, that was the only. You know, if I ever advise people sometimes, just pray because sometimes culture makes a difference. Yeah. Yes. But not skin. Amen. Skin ain't got nothing to do with it. How do you go from real love? How do you push two people together? Thank God you don't know. It's quiet in here today. But I'm just telling you, Jesus Christ said, I will follow you. He could have been an A-Round. Oh, yes. Or he could have been a Jew. Oh, yes. If he's a seed of Abraham, he was a Gentile. Abraham was a Gentile. You know? But we know regardless of what lineage or what seed he come through, he was the son of God. Yes. yes. He was a lamb slave before the families of the world. Yes, he is. Wasn't he? Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. Regardless of what who birthed him, he was God protected. Yes.
Yes. The wound didn't have, Mary's blood wasn't in him. He didn't have one drop, one drop of Mary's blood in his veins. What do you mean? The blood come from the, from the male. From the seed. And God was the seed. Yes. So that's why the blood of Jesus saved.
be more people you can minister to. All right, now. Hallelujah. Great God. I love him, don't you? Let him my Jesus. He's the Lord. He's the Lord. He's the Lord. The King. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus said to him, have I been so long time with you? With you? And yet you have not known me, Philip. He that has seen me has seen the Father. How say then show us the Father? Believe you not that I'm in the Father and the Father in me. The words that I speak, I, that I speak to you, speak not of myself, but the Father that dwells in me. You notice Jesus didn't talk about himself. You know, some people all they do is talk about me. Themselves, you know. All they're preaching is this. Turn on TV, I this, I that. God ain't got no eye there. Me this and me that. More eyes being preached today than Jesus. All right. Preachers are trying to come in their own name. Come on. Now. That's why they're receiving them. Yes. If you come in my name, yes. he said, I will come in my Father's name, and you don't receive it. If I will come in my own name, yes. you will receive it. Yes. I come represent my Father. Yes. My doctor's not mine, but he that's in yes. When you see me, you see the Father. Yes. You ever seen nothing else out of me. <laughs> you ever seen a man walking around here. Jesus of Nazareth walking around here. We have seen the Father. We have seen me open the eyes of the blind. We have saw the Father open the eyes of the blind. We have seen me raise the dead. We have seen the Father that lives in me. That's what you want to do. It's ideas and ideas. I love this gift. We ain't got nothing. It's the gift of eternal life that God has given you through the Lord Jesus Christ that is in you. Mary West and Shep through you. to the morning because the day starts in the evening that's right but the end of the day is here man guess what god is making man again Right now, 
happened at the end of the sixth day. You know, the Bible said that the, at the end of the sixth day, Peter, James, and John, he said, go with me on the mountain. How then it was a sixth day, but it was the end of it. Getting close to the end, and, the, and, and Moses and Elijah appeared to Jesus. When Jesus tried, he said, don't tell the reason to nobody. Don't you know God was trying to tell us that Moses and Elijah is fixing to come? The ministry of restoration, the ministry of wrath. Elijah brought restoration. Moses brought the judgment. So, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are the hour of the two witnesses of Jesus. Yeah. You mean you're going to be the branches. We're going to be the olives. We're going to be the olives yeah. on that yeah. tree. Yeah. We're going to speak on it the anointing. We're going to minister on the anointing of the prophets. Oh, the spirit of the prophets is fixed to come. And we're going to minister on the spirit of the prophets. We're not going to be the prophet, but we're going to be, we're going to be the spirit of it. And just like Jesus, we're not Jesus, but we're the spirit of him. We're not Jesus, but we're the wrath of him. Hallelujah. The wrath is not us, but it's him. Hallelujah. We're not the wrath, but we're a witness of that wrath. Some's going to shine in my back door someday. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. The light's going to shine in my back door someday. The sun is going to shine in my back door someday. Going to take my trouble. Oh! She does it to encourage me. Whatever you ask in the, my name, that will I do that the Father may be glorified, honored in the Son. You know, God ain't honored today. He's not honored today. 
We're not giving him money. We're getting on. He told us, and how can you receive honor one from another? Didn't he? That's all we got on TV, honor one from another. Oh, yes. It's all you got in the entertainment world. They each one praising the other. Yes. <laughs> it's all you got in the White House. Everybody praising everybody. All you got with nations and, and peoples and neighbors. Everybody praising. That's all you got in the pulpit. Everybody praising oh, everyone. Yes. All right. Yes. I'm so sick of this praising. Let the parliament go back in the sun. The King Jesus has come. Would you feel like getting on the housetop and blowing my home? All right. <laughs> you people looking different today than you did yesterday. <laughs> See, me like lying is playing up in somewhere. I think the sister was so illuminated. Thank God. Hallelujah. Bring me some more. Receive the God to receive him, not even know him. But you know him, or he dwells with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while in the world sees me no more. But you see me because I live, you shall live also. Yes. See, this is what Paul, he knew this. But you know, Paul didn't get this from flesh. He said, I didn't convert not with flesh and blood. So, like Peter, he didn't go to Peter. He didn't go to Barnabas and, or Ananias and picked him up. Barnabas that, that, that gave him, you know, when nobody else had nothing to do with him, Barnabas did. He went to Arabia by himself Amen. in the desert. Amen. Stayed with God for three and a half years like Jesus and prayed and God came and revealed his son in him. He converted not with flesh and man. He said, I found out that it pleased 
my father which separated me from my mother's womb to reveal his son in me. Yeah. See, that's what's wrong that today. We never saw God until Christ is revealed. I've been praying for 32 years for this life of Jesus to be revealed in me. He told me in the beginning, he said, you're a Jesus man. Well, that was a long time. Well, tell me how long it was before Jesus revealed himself. The Bible said at 12, he grew up in knowledge of God and statue and favor of God in man. When he got 30 years old, being about 30 years old, the Holy Ghost descended on him in a, like a dove, like a body ship, like a dove, and entered into him. And he went into the wilderness, and fasted and prayed and come out in the power of the Spirit. Yes. In the demonstration of the Spirit and power of the living God. When he come out of the desert, when he come out of the wilderness back in the Galilee, he came in the power of the Spirit. Hallelujah. And immediately his train, his news of him went throughout the whole land. No sick people could come in his presence. No demons could come nigh him. No blind could stay near him. Leprosy was cleansed in his presence. People touched him was made whole. Yes. Because God was in him. Yes. God lived in the fullness of God. Now we're coming into the fullness of God as he was. The right light of God. This ain't the light of a man. This ain't the light of a woman. Oh, thank you, Lord. This is the light of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. And that day, see, that's what he said over here. You're soon going to know. You know what I'm saying? Here, you shall know him and have seen him. Look here. He said now when the Holy Ghost is coming, he said, you ain't going to know this until I go back to heaven. When I go back to heaven, I'm going to see you to understand. Me. I'm going to see you to revelation. See, they didn't have the revelation of Jesus Christ in them. They always wanted him to be with them. See, we always want to see him. Oh, I can just see you, Jesus. You see him right now. You heard me, you heard the power. My doctrine's not mine. When you hear his true service is coming out, we make to see God everywhere. We can see God everywhere. Thank you. See God, God is supposed to be revealed to you in the flesh, yes. in your mortal flesh. Yes. And your body is going to be healed from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Yes. Sickness and sin is going to live in you because where He lives, where Christ lives, sin is revealed. Yes. God forbid it in sin. church today they see all these separate persons. Three bodies. Well, if these three heads don't tell you it's a freak. <laughs> God ain't a freak. He's one. One. And that day you shall know that I'm in my Father and you and me and I in you. Isn't that good? Yeah, a little while in the world sees me no more, but you see me. Because I live and you live. Right now, don't buy here and expect everybody to see you. 
and believe you and to believe what you're saying because the world just ain't got the eyes to see them. All right. He the spirit of truth, he said down in John 14, the world can't receive him. This is the spirit of truth coming to you. You're going to be living testimonies. I see right now I'm not getting this here. Maybe tonight. It's all right. Praise God. To hear that the life of Jesus Christ might be made known, revealed, manifest in our bodies. Oh, thank you, Lord. For we which live are always delivered oh, thank you, Jesus. to death. For Jesus said that the life also of Jesus might be made known, made manifest, or revealed in our mortal body, our flesh. See, the old modern church, they ain't never going to believe this. Mm -hmm. But I believe it. And I believe you believe it. Amen. And you know what? It's going to make Abraham live 175 years. It's going to add to you days. You're going to spring up in health. Oh, yes. I believe it. Oh, you just going to be renewed like the Eagles. Woo! Yes. Hey. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Won't you right now just the Lord told me to tell you to open up your hearts. Quit opening up your mind. Somebody just can't get it in my mind. Quit fooling your mind. <laughs> The mind gets bogged down in wonders and hundreds and yes. puzzles and yes, can't see it. Yeah. God said for me to tell you, open up your heart. Yeah. heart. Jesus said to me, open up your heart. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's in your heart where God lives. He brings into you a living spirit. Yes. The outer man passes. The inner man is renewed. Day by day. Open up your hearts. Look at this by your head. Put your hand across your heart area and pray. Pray right now. Lord, open up my heart. Lord, open up my heart. Open up my heart, Lord. Lord, open up my heart. Lord, open up my heart. Lord, I'm so tired of my heart shutting you out. Come on, tell me. The Lord has been praying through me for weeks now. And the Spirit's been praying through me for God to put the life of Jesus in my flesh. To reveal the life of Jesus in me. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise His name. I'm 
I'm tired of being useless.
Thank you, Jesus. You're going to have lots of these meals. Hallelujah. You're going to be able to really do something in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Master. Praise you. Now I feel so close to the Lord. I know there's a lot. Woman, the Lord breaks that yoke off of you. Those evil spirits and torments and all them powers in your neighborhood. There's evil spirits in your neighborhood. And I drive them your house. For the power of God. For the power of God. I drive these forces from you. You are free, says the Lord. No one has ever rest for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Three more people get it. Three more people get it. Bring a hundred dollars to me, Somebody might have twenty dollars. Everything helps. Hallelujah. Two more people bring it down again. Praise the Lord. God in Jesus' name, give him a million dollars for me this year. Give it to him for us. Share this message for Sister Turner out of gold. God be with you go to Africa, Indonesia. God be with you go. God to the backside of the world. Holy God, you just told us you could send us to the backside of the world. Jesus, thank you, God. Thank you, Master. I agree. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We appreciate that opportunity. There's two more people. Hallelujah. Two more people. There's one more person. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands up and praise the Lord. I know we get Saturday night. I'm going to speak that message on the on the end is what how close we are and how the door of the gospel is being closed. That's why you're going to see God move here the rest of the way. You know that for a while that charismatic movement has had things under control, but they're losing. You may not know that, but charismatic people are losing their punch. You fix to see their churches start emptying out. He says, you fix to see their churches start emptying out. Hallelujah. This is going to be one of the greatest services you've ever been privileged. Woman, God is healing you. No one heard from me. God is healing you. God is healing you.